children and welcome to Zenith Academy online once again. In today's video lesson, we will be talking about different experiments on photosynthesis. So experiments which are based on photosynthesis and which helps us to explain the phenomena of photosynthesis. All those experiments we will look today. So first of all, we need to de-starch. Okay, so first step for any experiment would be de-starching, that is removal of starch. A plant used for experiments on photosynthesis should initially be placed in the dark for 24 to 48 hours to de-starch the leaves. Okay, so what is the first step? You should keep your plant in dark for 24 to 48 hours so that all the starch that is that is stored in it, all the food that is stored in it in the form of starch is used. Okay, then this will be a de-starched plant and then we can use it for any experiments on photosynthesis. So now let's begin. So during this period, all the starch will be removed from the leaves and stored in the storage organs. The leaves will now will not show the presence of starch. Now the leaves will not show any presence of starch. A de-starch plant is one whose leaves are free from starch. So let's now do a test. Okay. To test a leaf for starch, okay, whether there is a whether whether there is starch present in the leaf or not. This test is also known as iodine test. Okay, children. So what do we do here? We first dip. Can, can you see here in the diagram? I'll just take the laser pointer. You dip the leaf in boiling water for a minute to kill the cells. So first step is you dip. You take a leaf and dip it in the boiling water. This will kill all the cells. Boil the leaf in methylated spirit over a water bath till it becomes pale white due to the removal of chlorophyll. The leaf now becomes hard and brittle. So in the second step, you have taken a beaker, filled water in it and taken another boiling tube in which you have filled methylated spirit. So this is known as a water bath. So you are not directly heating the methylated spirit, otherwise it can catch fire. Okay. So in the water bath, we have kept the methylated spirit, spirit in which you have uh, kept your leaf. So we will boil the leaf in methylated spirit over a water bath till it becomes pale white. Why it will become pale white? Because chlorophyll will be killed by this process. Okay. So leaf now will become hard and brittle. Next step is again we will keep this hard and brittle leaf in water. Okay, in hot water so that it be, it softens, it becomes soft. Now spread the leaf in a dish. So we will now spread it on a white tile or a dish and we will pour iodine solution on it. So are you seeing I am dropping iodine solution on it. Okay, the presence of starch will be indicated by a blue black color. So if starch is present, it will show a blue black color in the leaf. And if blue black color is not seen, it means starch was not present. Okay, a leaf without starch will show brown coloration, whereas a leaf with the starch will show blue black coloration. So children, if you take a leaf from, uh, directly from a plant which is there in the sunlight, then you will see that starch will be present in it. But if you take a plant which is de-starched like this, if you take a leaf from this plant which has been de-starched for 24 hours, then the leaf will show brown coloration. Is that clear to you? Okay. Now the next experiment is to show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Okay. In this, we take a plant with variegated leaves. Okay. Having some green and some non-green areas. So what is a variegate, variegated leaf in which the leaf which is not fully green, which has some other colors as well. Example, Kalis, geranium and proton. So these are some examples of non-variegated variegated leaves. Okay, these are examples of variegated leaves. Can you see? These have white patches. These have green patches. Okay, these have white stripes. These have white dots. So these are the variegated leaves. Mostly this type of a leaf, the leaf D. Okay, this type of a leaf is selected for this experiment. Okay. So what we will do first, we will de-starch the leaf first by keeping the plant in dark room for few days. Then we will place the plant in the sun. 
so first we have destarched now we will when we will keep in the sun then it will start producing glucose so after a few hours pluck one leaf make its outline on paper and mark the green and non green areas on the outline okay now test the leaf for starch you will be amazed to see that only the green parts of the leaf will turn bluish black showing the presence of starch so see here so when we now do the same iodine test that we did before it's the same iodine test when we do on this these variegated leaves we, you will see that the green patch in which the chlorophyll was present can you see here the green patch turned blue black whereas the yellow part did not turn blue black showing the absence uh, of food so it is clearly shown here that only green part had chlorophyll and that is why it produced food is that clear that is why starch is produced here and no stored starch is there because we have already destarched the leaf now the next experiment is to show that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis so take a plant with destarched leaves cover one of the leaves with black paper on which a design is cut okay like this so take a leaf cut a take a black paper on which a design of maybe a star is cut and then stick that black paper to it place this plant in the sun now so you are not plucking the leaf okay you are taking the whole plant and covering one of its leaf with such a black paper and now then place the plant in the sun after few hours now you pluck the leaf and test the leaf which is covered by black paper for the presence of starch and it will be observed that only parts of the leaf which could get light that is this part of the leaf could get light and this part can you see this part of the leaf was able to get light but not this part the gray part the black part was not able to receive sunlight okay so it will be observed that only the parts of the leaf which could get light through the cut out design as well as those that were left uncovered by the paper turned blue black it shows the presence of starch okay, now see this diagram this is the leaf how it was now after the iodine test only this part turned blue black and this part remained brown clear to you now the next experiment is to show that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis okay let's talk about carbon dioxide now so take the plant with destarch leaves okay take a plant like this and what i've done see here in the diagram insert a part half of one of the leaves can you see half of one of the leaf is inserted in a jar like this in a conical flask or a jar now this jar contains potassium hydroxide can you see potassium hydroxide here now what does this potassium hydroxide do is it absorbs the carbon dioxide so whatever carbon dioxide was there in the air in the jar that is also absorbed by this potassium hydroxide so now this half part of the leaf is not exposed to uh, carbon dioxide at all okay now leave the plant in sunlight and then what you do you test for it okay see so if you even if you do it like this if you place water in it and make the leaf like this so water is going so this part of the leaf will produce will do photosynthesis correct so in this part only the uh, food will be formed the starch will be formed so after a few hours test the leaf for starch the part of the leaf which was exposed to the atmospheric air becomes blue black so this part of the leaf which was exposed to air this part of the leaf which was exposed to atmospheric air turned blue black can you see because here only starch was produced so by this experiment we can say that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis okay so the part of the leaf which was exposed to the atmospheric air becomes blue black and the part of the leaf inside the flask containing potassium hydroxide does not become blue black showing that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis the part of the leaf outside the flask becomes the control experiment so this is the control experiment okay where this is forming starch and this is not forming starch now let us see another experiment to show that oxygen is produced during photosynthesis 
so now we are talking about the product so the product of photosynthesis is oxygen let us see an experiment so place some water plants like hydrilla or alotea in a beaker which contains pond water and cover them by a short stemmed funnel so see here you have taken this hydrilla plant okay and you have covered it with a funnel which has a very short stem okay not a very long stem funnel okay so and also uh, you have to take pond water or you should not be taking your distilled water or should not be taking your ro water which you use for drinking okay so take pond water now invert a test tube full of water so take a test tube completely fill it with water and invert on it ensure that the level of water in the beaker is above the level of stem of the inverted funnel okay so level of the water in the beaker should be above the level of the stem now place the apparatus in the sun for a few hours so as soon as you place like this now some of the very little water will flow out okay and there will be complete water in this test tube but now when you keep it in the sunlight okay for few hours you will see that few bubbles are ar arising and this part okay starts to fill up with gas so the water will be pushed down okay so place the apparatus in the sun for few hours bubbles of gas will collect in the test tube and you can test the gas in the test tube a glowing splinter bursts into flame which shows the presence of oxygen let's see an animation here so the, here is a burning splinter can you see and when you bring it close to close to oxygen close to this gas it will start burning is it clear to you so this is a repetition that is why you are seeing it again and again okay so when you are bringing a glowing splinter close it will burn into flames this shows the presence of oxygen so that was all about all the experiments dear children if you have liked this video do subscribe to us like it write in the comment section and do share with your friends bye bye and keep the learning always on